Okay, so uh, the purpose of this video is to show you um, the use of the TI Inspire um, with uh, two variable statistics. So what we see here on the left hand side is the list of all of the different things that I'm going to show you how to do. Um, data entry, scatter plots, line of best fit, linear regression, uh, finding averages of lists, um, sketching a residual plot and finding residual values, finding a correlation coefficient, and lastly, a regression for exponential and quadratic functions, as well as finding correlation coefficients for those types of functions. So I'm going to head over to the calculator. What I'm going to do in this case is start a uh, new document. Um, and so we'll select new document. And what I'm going to start by doing is selecting lists and spreadsheets, because I need to start by entering my data. I'll go to the top of the column and enter the um, column name. And so you see the data here on the left hand side, we have data about uh, a number of grams of fat and the number of calories contained within. And so I'll call this column uh, fat and then I'll move uh, two rows down to enter the data. So now we just go ahead and enter the data. Be very cautious when you enter the data that uh, you don't type anything incorrectly. Uh, as that will produce uh, incorrect answers uh, or the correct answers for the wrong data for all subsequent uh, calculations. Okay, so uh, 35 and 23, 8, uh, 34, 41, and 40. Okay, and so hopefully uh, I'm rushing through this, so hopefully I haven't made any errors. I'm going to go to my second column and I'm just going to name this uh, cal for calories uh, and once again I'm going to go ahead and enter my uh, data uh, 580 Four four nine one eight seven seven nine and seven six nine. Okay, first things first. What I want to make sure is that um, at the very least, uh, hopefully I haven't made any errors, but I have the same number of entries for fat as I do for calories. Otherwise, you're going to get a dimension mismatch uh, on your calculator. It's going to be uh, unable to do any two variable stats calculations because you do not have pairs of data. Okay, come back over here and so uh, that takes care of data entry, that's the creation of the list names and the entry of the data. So we'll go back to the calculator, what I'm going to show you now is how it is that you um, use this data and represent it in a scatter plot and so first thing I need to do is create a new page, so I'm going to say control document which is going to add a page. The page I want to add now is a data and statistics page. Um, what I have here um, uh, is a, a scatter plot of one of my uh, data. What I want, uh, sorry, uh, uh, what I want is a, a two variable stats um, uh, scatter plot. So I'm going to have uh, fat on the x axis. Now, what it does is it produces for me um, a, a dot plot, and then I'm going to add a variable to the y axis, which is going to be calories. The idea being that calories uh, depend on the amount of fat and not vice versa, so fat is the independent variable. Okay, and this gives me my scatter plot. The idea at this point, of course, is that you would be able to give um, a description of this um, positive, uh, moderately strong, I would say, and linear would be uh, probably the best guess at this point, um, but we're going to go through and do some calculations later to confirm this. Uh, one of the things you can do if you wish is by clicking on a point and going control menu. Um, uh, sorry, we're going to uh, effectively uh, go in and uh, be able to uh, right click essentially and we are going to, sorry, click on a point, right click and I'm going to change the full color. Uh, not really necessary, but that's the way you change the color. Um, and what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead 
uh, if we go back to the list over here, I'm going to go ahead and find a line of best fit. And I'm going to do this on the calculator. Um, remember, you can also be asked to do this manually. So in order to do that, I go to menu. Um, I want to analyze. Uh, and the, what I want to analyze, uh, analyze the graph using regression. And I'm going to select the first one, linear regression. Uh, goes ahead and finds you the line of best fit, including its equation, y equals 11.55x plus 262.015. Um, and of course, in this particular case, x would be uh, fat and y would be calories. Okay, so that is um, the line of best fit. Um, if we were asked to do this manually, um, what you would also need to be able to do uh, or what you should know is that the line of best fit passes through the averages point so I'll just remind you how to do that if you go back in and create uh, add a page this time a calculator page if you needed to find the averages to plot that point um, we could do uh, follow the uh, procedure by pushing menu going to statistics and one of the options is um, list math and uh, mean is one of the options. If you want the mean of the fat list, then I'm going to just push variables. It gives me all of the lists that I have. Uh, click on uh, fat um, and hit enter. And this is the average number of grams of fat. Um, likewise, if we want to repeat that calculation, uh, menu, statistics, list math, mean. And this time I want the mean number of calories. Uh, we can do that very quickly without having to use one variable stats from the previous unit. So that's just an individual calculation. Okay, so let me come back to the checklist quickly. Um, we've done the line of best fit for uh, uh, linear regression. We've um, found list averages. And now what we're going to do is look at a residual plot and some residual values. So if I go back to my um, graph, um, after you've done a regression calculation, if you go to menu and analyze, you'll see the residuals option, which was grayed out before, is no longer grayed out. Um, after you've done a regression, you are able to show the residual plot. Um, and here you see our residual plot. What we're looking for in a residual plot is no distinct pattern. And if we see no distinct pattern, that should indicate to us um, that the function we've attempted to fit is an appropriate function um, and what we also are able to do is hover over any one of these points and what it does is it gives us the x coordinate or in this case the amount of fat 19 grams and the other value um, in this case minus 71.4 indicates that uh, for this particular data point uh, the 19 grams of fat um, the uh, number of calories being predicted is 71.4 below um, uh, the, or rather the amount of calories at, for this point is 71.4 calories below what the line is predicting. Okay, we can also use the residual plot to determine which point is most likely to be an outlier, and that's going to be the one with the largest residual. You're looking for the point furthest away from the line. In that case, we have this point here. If you click on the point, you'll see it highlights it above. Uh, the coordinates of that point are 34,918. The residual value of the point with a fat value 34 is 263.4, as you can see from the graph when I hover over there. So that means that uh, the point had 263.4 more calories than the line predicted and this is our most likely uh, outlier. Okay, if we come back over here, so that takes care of our residual plot and our residual values. Uh, last two um, skills that you need are to be able to find a correlation coefficient. Remember, a correlation coefficient, the value of r, uh, is a measure of how well the function fits. We are looking for values closest to 1 or closest to minus 1. So we'll come back over here. Um, we're going to go back to our calculator page. You can create a new one or just work on the one that you already have. And uh, we go menu, statistics, stat calculations. And this time we're going to do stat calculations for uh, linear regression. Um, we need to enter the lists that we're going to do the uh, stat calculations for. 
So in this case, we must select fat as the X list. It's the independent variable and calories as the Y. And then we just move down, ignore the rest um, of the options, click OK. And here you can see, uh, once again, our slope is 11.55, rounded to two decimal places. Our y-intercept, uh, 262.02, that's the same equation as before. The equation is in the form mx plus b, as you can see from here. And the number we're after is this number r.656, which in this case indicates uh, moderate uh, strength uh, in terms of how well the line fits. Okay, and so uh, essentially what, what remains to be done is to show you how to um, do exponential and quadratic regression but also find correlation coefficients. The procedure is going to be almost identical to what you just did. So menu, statistics, uh, stat calculations, and this time what we're interested in is exponential regression. We're going to go through the same process, uh, select fat as the x, calorie as the y, click OK. This time we have a regression equation which is exponential, a times b to the power of x. Uh, a is 327.66, b the base is 1.02, and uh, power of x is part of the equation. r, which is our correlation coefficient, is 0.716, so not uh, not particularly strong, but definitely stronger than the line. Uh, you can also do this on the graph itself. Uh, if we were to uh, go to menu, uh, analyze, uh, regression, and select exponential, uh, you will get an exponential equation the same as before, but of course it does not give you the correlation coefficient in the graph. So we need the calculate menu in order to get that. Uh, and just as a final uh, demonstration. We'll do this for quadratics because they are slightly different. So I'm going to go into menu, statistics, stat calculations. This time I'm going to do the quadratic regression. Uh, list one is fat. Uh, the Y list is calories. Click OK. And the difference here you'll see is that we get an R squared value, but not an R value. Um, and so in order to get the R value, I'm just going to find the square root of the R squared value, which is 0.47152. Uh, we need to be fairly accurate when we enter this. Um, so enter several decimal places just to make sure that our answer is correct. So our R value in this case, 0.687 rounded to three decimal places. Uh, once again, um, a little bit weaker than the uh, exponential regression fit. And so uh, the exponential regression according to the correlation coefficient provides the best fit for this uh, data according to the uh, stats calculations. Okay, so that takes care of uh, the last exponential and quadratic regression and correlation coefficients.